Welcome to the tutorial on adding text and frames to a video. In this tutorial, we will learn to add a text annotation to a video, adjust placement, format the font style, adjust duration and offset, add colored blank frames to the video. Change color for the added frames and change the blend mode to adjust visibility. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 18.04 OS and Blender 2.90.1. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the Blender interface. For prerequisite tutorials, please visit this site. Files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. I have already opened the Blender interface. Click on File Open to open the saved Blender project. From the Videos folder, choose the annotate.blend file. I have saved the input file in the Videos folder. Click on Open to open the project. The project has audio and video tracks. Let's make a text annotation for the title clip and add a background color. Click on Add and select text in the sequencer panel. A text effect layer or strip is added in the channel above the video channel. Select the text strip. Notice the strip tab in the sidebar on the right side. Several parameters can be adjusted from here. Notice that the text is written on the top. This indicates that this is a text effect strip. To mute or hide the strip, uncheck the text box on the right. Let's type my first title clip on the effect strip field below. This is the text that will be displayed. From the styles section, we can select from downloaded font styles. I will leave it as is now. A website to download various font styles is shown here. Download the font of your choice. Unzip or extract it from the zip file. Choose the style in Blender from the styles section. Place the cursor on the field for size to show a two direction arrow. Click, hold and move left or right to increase or decrease the font size. I will choose a value of around 90 for text size. Now let's select the text color. Currently it is white for me. Click on the field for color to open the color selection option. Click on the RGB tab to show the color wheel. To show the colors, move the color scale bar on the right upwards. I will select the blue color. Notice the shadow option below the color setting. You may check the box to show the shadow on the font. Pause the video and do the following. Click on the field for shadow to open the color options. Choose a color of your choice from the RGB tab. Next, scroll down and adjust the X and Y placement of the text. Place the cursor on the value of X field. Click, hold and move to left or right to place the text in the desired location. Next, place the cursor 
in the value field for y location. Again, click, hold and move to place the text as seen here. Notice the alignment and wrap options. Learner may pause this video and explore more if desired. Scroll down further on the strip tab to the time section. Here, notice the channel number of the strip. We can also adjust the duration and position of the text effect strip. Now, the text effect strip is on the video. Let's use the duration field and make the duration to 5 seconds. The input video is 25 frames per second. On the duration field, notice 25. It is the default length that is added for 1 second with 25 frames. We need 125 frames to make the duration to 5 seconds. I will change 25 to 125 and press enter to increase the duration to 5 seconds. You may also drag on the handles to adjust the duration. Let's reposition the text strip in the sequencer panel. Let's move the strip to the beginning of the video using the mouse. Place the text layer before the start of the video as seen here. Notice that our preview range starts at 0 frame position. Now the text strip is out of the visible preview range. Let's move all the strips together to start at zero time in the sequencer panel. First, click on any one of the strips. Then press the A key to select all the strips. Next, press the G key. Without clicking, move the mouse to the right. Reposition to start the text strip at time 0. Now all the strips are in the visible preview range. The options in the time section can also be used to adjust position. We will add background color frames for the text annotation. Place the playhead in any frame of the video strip. Let's add a color strip by clicking on add and then color. Notice a new effect strip gets added in a channel in the sequencer panel. Let's select it. If the color strip gets added in channel 1 or 2, please move it to channel 4. It is added in channel 3 for me. I will move it to channel number 4. Let's adjust the position and duration of the color strip. Go to the time section in the strip tab. Enter 0 at the start field and 125 in the duration field. This changes the color strip duration to 5 seconds starting at 0 time. We don't have to enter the end position since the duration and start time is mentioned. This positions the color layer above the text for the same duration. Place the playhead anywhere on the color layer. Go to the color tab in the sidebar. Click on the rectangle next to color to choose the desired color. Move the color scale bar selection slider upwards to see the colors. I will select a green shade. This change is also visible in the preview panel. Notice that the text is not visible now. Text can be made visible in two ways. In the color section, change the blend mode to alpha under. Notice that the text is visible now. 
press control C to undo the change. Now again the text is not visible. Scroll down the strip tab to see the channel number. The color layer or strip is in the fourth channel. It is in the channel above the text strip. Select the text strip. I will move the text strip to the fifth channel using the field as seen here. Now the third channel is empty and the text is visible again. Learner may pause this video and explore the many options further. You may save the project, render to an output file and quit Blender. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we added text annotation to a video, adjusted text placement, formatted the font style, changed the position and duration, added colored blank frames to the video, changed color for the added frames and changed the blend mode to adjust visibility. For assignment activity, please do the following. Cut the video at any position and insert the gap. Add a text of your choice and change format, alignment and duration. Append color frames of your choice color for 20 seconds. Position the text strip and color strip above the video strip. Explore the blend option in the color strip. Notice when the text is visible. Change channels of the text and color strip to make the text visible. The video at this link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. Please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.